The BSDL file format is a description language designed for electronic testing using JTAG and is supported by a large and growing number of silicon vendors. The format includes pin names, their electrical type, and also their mapping onto pads and a footprint. This makes it very useful when creating schematic parts in CAD software. Proteus supports BSDL import direct from the library menu in the schematic application module. After selecting the file, you are presented with a Make Device wizard, with an initial dialog for configuring the pins. The list of pins appears on the left hand side in the order that they will be placed on the resulting schematic part. You can select a pin or group of pins and then move them up or down to adjust the order. For example, to make sure all pins on a given bus are placed beside each other. Also, you can place gaps between pin groups to get the layout you want and place element separators to split the device into multiple schematic elements. You can, if you wish, rename one or more pins once they are selected. There are two important rules to remember. First, pins with a name beginning NC will be treated as not connected and will be assigned to the NC pin type. This means they will not be placed physically on the schematic part unless you explicitly choose to show them. If you do, you must then tie them individually to NC terminals on the schematic. Secondly, pins with common power names will be assigned to the power pin type. You can specify other suitable pins as being of type power manually. Pins of type power will not be placed on the schematic unless you explicitly choose to show them. When power pins are hidden, they will connect automatically to the supply with that name on the schematic. So, for example, a hidden VCC pin will connect to the VCC net. If you choose instead to show the power pins, then they will appear as individually named pins and you must tie them to the appropriate power rail manually on the schematic. The last thing we need to do on this dialog is specify whether we want pins on all four sides of the component or only on two sides. When we get to the packaging page of the wizard, we will see a named list of packaging specified in the BSDL file. We want to rename the existing packaging and then find the appropriate named footprint in the Ares libraries. When we do so, we can see from the preview on the right hand side that all of the component pins are correctly mapped onto the BGA balls. Note also in this packaging how the hidden NC pins are listed and also that power pins with the same name are hidden. The rest of the Make Device Wizard is identical to creating a part from inside the Proteus software. If we then place the device on the schematic and launch the Power Rail Configuration dialog, we'll be able to check whether our hidden power pins are connected or not. Pins such as GND, which have the same name as a supply, will automatically be connected to the supply. Other pins that were marked as being of type power and then hidden will need to be assigned to one of the power supplies in the project being worked on. When you are working with an FPGA, the pin data sometimes needs to change during design development. If you are only changing what BGA balls the pins map to, you can load the pin map file directly into the packaging tool. If, however, you are changing any pin names, then this is a device change in Proteus. You will need to reload the BSDL file and apply the pin map file via the load pinning button on the dialog. This will change the pin names on the left hand side and it will automatically package with the correct BGA balls when you assign your footprint.